Welcome to Body Destinations. I'm Brandy Giles, and we're here to tell you a little bit about the work that we do at our office located in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. We work with athletes, both high-level elite athletes like David, as well as the Sunday Marathon person and people who are battling any kind of orthopedic injury as well as cancer. We found working with athletes that we reduce recovery time and help increase performance post-event and during their event. And we also work with cancer patients who are trying to reestablish their healthy balance and their daily activities, whether that's getting up in the morning and putting on their shoes or running a Sunday Boston Marathon. Today I'm going to bring you into the office and introduce you to Sandra Bello, and she's going to be working with David using hot stones after, after an event that David did last night. And let's go inside and see what they're doing. And with Sandra Bello, who's been a licensed massage therapist at Body Destinations. She's been working on me since I came up here at the end of June, early July. And we're here tonight as we came in from Maine as we had raced tomorrow night in Londonderry, New Hampshire. I wanted to have Sandra to explain some of the massage therapy she's working me on and how I recover for each race. Great. So talk about the hot rocks a little bit. It was my first time using hot rocks. Okay. I introduced the hot rocks to David when he first came in because he has never had them before. And due to the amount of um, workouts that he has, I suggested that we try them to help quickly detox the body so the body can repair quicker because of the next race that he has to be in. So while we work with the rocks, it intensely heats the muscle and helps flush out any toxins, uh, crystals, any lactic acid that is built up in his muscles, and it rapidly releases and relaxes and detoxes the muscles, which in turn filters through the blood and gets pushed out through the system. One of the things I had to deal with this time is I usually have massages before big races, maybe a few days before. This year, because I'm racing every other day, I'm having massages with Sandra the day before, racing the next day and coming back in and doing it again. So this is one of the ways that we help us with our recovery so we're able to race the next day without feeling that tightness. Uh, we're going to show you some of the massage therapies and techniques that she uses tonight here at Body Destinations. And what other things do you work with me on? I know we have some long sessions sometimes. What's a good length of time for an athlete to really get body work done? Typically it would be based on the athlete. Um, if they only want spot work, of course the time would be shorter, but with you we work a full body. Typically you could run between an hour and a half to two hours each session because there are so many areas that you need to work with. Um, in order to relax a muscle and to detox it and bring it back to its natural state, you have to really focus and put a lot of attention of working not just a piece of the Achilles, you've got to work the foot, the calf, the hamstring, the glute, you have to work the entire body in order to get that result. Our audience is mostly athletes over 30 years old, right. trying to still perform, compete, and train at an older age. What advice do you have for them well, what with I, massage? Yeah, what I have advice for is that if you keep on top of any problems that you're having, whether it's a tight muscle, a pulled hamstring, a tear, um, any aches and pains, you get a massage and it'll actually flush out the tissue, it'll soften the muscle and give you more range of motion, flexibility, and you can even move faster. And I think that's great advice. My thing is the minute I have any kind of problem to get the massage as soon as possible, and then after the massage tonight, after I get this detoxing done, I'm going to have lots of water tonight, I will have another meal tonight, and that will begin my recovery for tomorrow night. So I'm in Sandra's good hands these two months. She's taking care of me during this whole event. And I thank her healing powers and her body destinations for take, making this my home for massage therapy during this whole event. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you so much. Uh, right now I put the hot stones away and I use my hands. Once the tissue has been heated, um, I then put them down, use my hands, and I work the muscle entirely. A typical hot stone massage is used throughout the entire massage except for a little bit of putting on some oil and maybe rubbing after the fact. I use the stones as a tool so that we can heat up the muscle drastically, get in there and clean it out and relax it. As long as they're smooth with no chips, um, something that fits perfect in your hand is all you need to do. 
so perfect. And how are they heated? I heat them about 120 degrees in a pan, um, a steaming, a roasting pan, and you clean them after each session that you use them. And typically 120 degrees. Some people like them a little bit hotter, but you have to be able to hold them in your hand as well. apply a lot of heat here into the Achilles tendon because of the fact that he's having some trouble with the tightening of that and also the foot and it rapidly heats it so that I can work it with less pain for him. Typically if you have to manually warm the area it almost feels bruised and this takes that part away. In a sense it makes the massage easier for him.